everyone, and welcome back. Now let's talk about brittle fracture for a ductile material. So if you look at some things like the Titanic, oops, the Titanic, or Liberty ships, what we see is that they failed in a brittle manner, though they were constructed of steel that is normally quite ductile. It's able to bend. So something happened, something was different in these cases that caused them to fail in this brittle manner. For the Titanic, it literally broke in half. Okay, it broke in half, as did this one right here. So if we're trying to figure out under what situations a material will fail in a brittle manner, we use something called an impact test. Okay, it helps us determine what conditions are going to promote that brittle fracture. Like, is it going to be a high strain rate? Like, it's under a lot of strain. Is it going to be low temperature? Is it going to be the presence of a notch? Is one of these things is going to cause it? And so what you do is you consistently lift this hammer higher and higher, and then you let it swing back down. And the difference in height is going to be leading to the amount of energy that it is going to be releasing. The amount of energy it's going to be releasing. So then, what do we see? Well, when those impact tests are conducted as a function of temperature, what we see then is that there's three kinds of behavior observed for metals. Some metals exhibit a ductile to brittle transition temperature. Okay? Now, all of them are going to get more and more brittle as we go to lower temperatures. You can see that it's dropping off here. Even for these, like the amount of impact energy required to cause it to fracture is dropping off. But this is still a ductile fracture up here, and this is a brittle fracture. Think glass for brittle. Think um, more like rubber for ductile. However, for some metals, specifically bicenter cubic metals, um, like a low strength steel, some polymers, there's going to be a point where they suddenly go from being very, very ductile to very, very brittle. And that's that ductile to brittle transition temperature. So any metal that has a ductile to brittle transition temperature should only be used at temperatures where it's ductile. If you use it anywhere else, you're putting yourself and others in danger because it may very well lead to failure. Okay. That's it for this time. Hopefully it made sense. Just remember that there are some metals that they have a ductile to brittle transition temperature. And if that's the case, you can only use them in situations where they're going to be ductile. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.